Singapore, a 42-year-old Indian national was extradited to the United States on Thursday, April 18, for his role in a call center scam which targeted over 15,000 people in the U.S. Victims were cheated of at least $230 million, $312 million. In a joint statement on Saturday, the Attorney General's Chambers, AGC, and the Singapore Police Force said that Singapore received a request from the U.S. government for the extradition of Hitesh Madhu by Patel last September. Patel is suspected to be part of an Indian-based transnational criminal organization and has been indicted in the U.S. He allegedly carried out a large, sophisticated and highly successful India-based telephone impersonation fraud and money laundering scheme from January 2012 to October 2016. 24 of Patel's co-conspirators have been sentenced in the US for up to 20 years in jail, in what has been described as the first large-scale, multi-jurisdiction prosecution targeting the India call center scam industry. Officers from the Commercial Affairs Department arrested Patel on September 21, 2018, in consultation with the AGC and pursuant to a warrant issued by the State Courts of Singapore. The State Courts held that Patel was liable to be extradited to the U.S. to stand trial for general conspiracy, wire fraud conspiracy and money laundering conspiracy. This case underscores Singapore's commitment to working in close cooperation with our international counterparts in the context of transnational crime so that enforcement agencies are able to effectively deal with persons operating across borders, the statement said. The U.S. Department of Justice said in a statement on Friday that Patel was expected to be arraigned in a federal court in Houston the same day, he allegedly operated the H Global Call Center conglomerate and participated in a complex scheme involving a network of call centers based in Ahmedabad, India. According to the U.S. Justice Department statement, India-based conspirators purportedly used information obtained from data brokers and other sources to find potential victims. They impersonated officials from the Internal Revenue Service or U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, and threatened victims with arrest, imprisonment, fines or deportation if they did not pay taxes or penalties to the government. The call centers then used a network of U.S.-based conspirators to liquidate and launder extorted funds through stored value cards or wire transfers. The conspirators collected the wire transfers by using fake names and fraudulent identifications. According to the indictment, the call center conspirators also defrauded victims through other schemes, such as offering fake short-term loans or grants. This extradition once again demonstrates the department's unwavering commitment to disrupt and dismantle the India-based call center scam industry and to work with our foreign partners to hold accountable those who perpetrate schemes that defraud our citizens. Assistant Attorney General Brian A. Benskowski said, I especially would like to thank our Singaporean colleagues for their excellent cooperation with this extradition and the commitment to combating transnational organized crime. Let's block ads. Why?